Hello everyone, my name is Kurt. In my opinion, there are two parts to helping a Jane or John Doe rest in peace. One is figuring out who murdered the Doe, and the other is getting their name back. In today's video, we'll be talking about a John Doe. The John Doe's murderer is behind bars, but his name is still unknown. Let's begin. In the year of 1978, the one-eyed Jack Doe was hitchhiking to Alaska when an unknown man picked the Doe up. The Doe wanted to go to Oregon originally, but then decided to go to Alaska. But then the killer murdered the Doe in an unknown manner. The killer was sentenced to life in prison and died in 2001. According to the killer, the man's name was John or Jack and he was 32 years old. The Doe had an Oregon driver's license and he also mentioned losing his eye in a logging accident and he now worked washing cars in Colorado. He also said he was married. The killer's not sure if any of this information is accurate since according to him, the victim lied quite a bit. And when the police asked why he killed the man, the suspect simply stated, quote, he was getting on my nerves, end quote. It's unknown how the police discovered the murderer, but from the research I found, the killer seemed cooperative and may have turned himself in. A year later, the one-eyed Jack Doe's corpse was discovered. Dentals and DNA are available, but due to late stages of decomposition, fingerprints are not. The only thing really noted in this case was the leather eye patch which was worn by the Doe, as well as his headband. Jewelry and clothing's details are unknown. From the autopsy, the age of the doe is 40 years or younger, which is around the same age the killer stated. His race was white, he was 6 feet tall, and he had an estimated weight of 185 pounds. His hair was brown and long, and his eye colour is unknown. It's not known if everything the killer said is true, but at this point we need to take it as fact. What I did find weird was the killer mentioned a driver's licence, yet nothing was ever found. It's not known if the Jackdaw will ever get his name back, and with the killer dead, it's even more difficult. But we can only hope. If you have any thoughts, tell me in the comments, and please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on new uploads. And I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could share this video. The more people who watch these videos, the greater a chance a doe may get noticed and identified. With all of that being said, hopefully one day, the one-eyed Jackdaw will claim his name. Good night. A quick message before this video ends. I'm planning on doing a short Q&A video for my 50 subscribers special, so if you have any questions about future cases, the channel or myself, feel free to ask me in the comments below and I'll make a short video on it. I'll see you guys next week.